Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to my channel. A patient came to us with nasal stuffiness and blood stained nasal discharge. On examination, we found that a fleshy, raspberry like mass is occupying his one nasal cavity. And this is a case of rhinosporidosis. <music> Rhinosporidosis is a chronic granulomatous infection. It is caused by Rhinosporidium siberi. These organisms have long been considered as fungus, but some consider this as protozoa or fish parasite. The natural habitat of these organisms are fresh pool of stagnant water. Most cases of rhinosporidosis are seen from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka and Africa. No case has been reported from Australia. So who are at risk of developing rhinosporidosis? Rural people who work in the stagnant water like rice field or who bath in the public ponds where men and animals like cows, horse, bulls, dogs share the same infected pond. People of ages between 15 and 40 years are commonly affected and males are more commonly affected than the females. What are the sites of infection of rhinosporidosis? In about 70% of cases, it affects the nasal cavity. But it can also affect the mucosa of the conjunctiva, nasopharynx, palate, epiglottis, larynx, trachea, bronchi, vulva and vagina. Though it is primarily a disease of the mucous membrane, it can also affect skin sometimes. The symptoms patients present with are stuffiness in nose, blood stained nasal discharge, sometimes frank epistaxis, but general condition of the patient is not so hampered. On examination, we will find that a sessile or pedunculated mass occupying one or both nostril. It is leafy, polypoidal in nature. It can arise from nasal septum or lateral wall. The mass is very vascular and bleeds on touch. The surface of the mass is studded with white dots. So a bleeding raspberry like polypoidal mass in the nose is the presenting sign of rhinosporidosis. The treatment of rhinosporidosis is complete excision of the mass. Rhinosporidosis is very prone to recurrence. To prevent recurrence, we have to do white based cautery after excision of the mass. Dapson, an anti leprosy drug, is sometimes used in the post operative period for 6 to 12 months to prevent recurrence. That's all from rhinosporidosis. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.